don't know the power of the dark side. Welcome back guys, Max here, and I am super stoked. As you can tell by the thumbnail, we are ramping up for Battlefront 2, waited all year for this game. God, I hope they don't screw it up like they did in 2015. Fingers crossed. This time around, it looks like we're gonna get an absolute truck more content, which is exactly what the game was missing last time. Campaign mode, arcade modes, you name it, it's got it. We've got spaceships, we've got starships, I should say. Um, we got we got absolutely everything in this game, and I am absolutely ramped up for it. And apologies for tripping over my words. As you know, I don't script anything, so I'm right here spouting out the excitement and trying to convey it to you as best I can. Now, in today's video, I've got some information for you regarding what I'm going to be doing with my own channel, reference to the beta and reference to the game. I've also got all the times when this game is going live on Wednesday, depending on what region you're in. These times will cover British Standard Time and all the time zones within the United States, and I think that's where we'll start. So Without further ado, I don't want to make this video terribly long. I just want to give you the information as it comes down. Now, they're going to release the beta in two phases. So the first phase is available only to those who have pre-ordered the game, either digitally or retail versions of that. And it will go live on Wednesday, October the 4th, PDT at 1 a.m., EDT 4 a.m., BST at 9 a.m., and CEST, where I am, at 10 a.m. AM. Now the next phase kicks off on Friday, that is October the 6th, and the times for that go in live are exactly the same as for anybody that pre-ordered the game. And the event will close, or the beta will close on Monday, October 9th, PDT 9am, EDT 12pm, BST at 5pm, and CEST at 6pm. Now we're not entirely sure how big the download is going to be. My guess is it's going to be fairly large in light of the fact that there is so much content they're trying to cram in here. And I do believe they want to test absolutely every game mode that they have running and all the fun stuff that they've got going on. And so I should suspect that the download is going to be big. So set yourselves aside some time to download this. Um, if you're not working or you've got the day off school or whatever, then absolutely fantastic that you can sit around and uh, you know bite your fingernails or whatever until uh, until it downloads but uh, they're also running some uh, special events as the day goes on right the way through from its release all the way till its close where you can pick up different bonus challenges um, and, and all kinds of fun stuff like that and I'm quickly going to cover those again I don't want the video to be massively long so on October 4th the assault trooper challenges play as an assault trooper play as all four trooper classes and defeat 150 enemies in any mode to earn a reward. On October 5th, battle points and hero challenges. Use your battle points to become a hero. Play as both a light and dark side hero and defeat 20 enemies as a hero to earn rewards. On October 6th is the arcade challenges. Win arcade while defeating 30 enemies. Complete three arcade scenarios to earn rewards. On October 7th, Galactic Assault Challenges. Play a round of Galactic Assault, defeat 20 enemies while playing as a reinforcement, and play as and defeat a trooper, a reinforcement, a hero, and a villain to earn another reward. And October 8th and 9th is the Starfighter Assault Challenges. In Starfighter Assault, become a hero ship, destroy five turrets and five objectives, and get a savior kill assist 25 times to earn rewards. So those are all the things that they're putting into the game. Obviously, you're gonna be able to play all the different game modes yourself in the beta as you go, as well as you choose. But if you wanna unlock some different rewards and all that kind of fun stuff, then those are the things, those are the events that are going on. Now, if you want that information, there's a whole bunch more on their website. I will leave a link down below on EA's Star Wars Battlefront 2 website. I'll leave a link to that website and you can see all the events as they're coming down and read all the information for yourself. There's an absolute ton of different information and stuff on here. All new game modes like the strike and arcade mode, which is a co-op thing. I believe you can even play the campaign mode in co-op, but the, the arcade mode you certainly can um, in a split screen, that kind of thing. Galactic Assault is gonna be set on Naboo, and I want to say the other version of the game, the strike and arcade mode is gonna be set on feed, 
I'm not sure if they're going to, uh, which is actually the capital of Naboo. Those of you that keep up with the Battlefield saga and stories will understand what that is. And so there we are, guys. That's the video wrapped up in a nutshell. I will be live streaming, like I've said, as of Wednesday, 6.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Actually, I didn't tell you that. I missed that out altogether. So let me tell you that. So my plan this week is to live stream every single day. Uh, as of when the beta drops of Wednesday, I am going to be live streaming at 6.30 Central Standard Time probably stream for a couple of hours going to do it every day going to do it right through the weekend going to stream saturday going to stream sunday as well if you guys have access to the beta you are more than welcome to jump in with me we'll get in there get involved not entirely sure how the beta is going to play out in terms of getting people in and and all the fun stuff that goes in with live streaming and all that jazz but we'll certainly figure it out as we go give it a go get some live experiences up on the internet for the world to see and uh, we'll go from there so if you want to play you're more than welcome to jump in as always and with that being said, I am going to wrap this video up. It's gone on long enough already. Just want to give you that information nice and short and quick. And uh, I'll catch all you guys in another video tomorrow where we'll be back to Battlefield 1. And we'll be looking at some of the potential DLC weapons in the upcoming DLC Apocalypse released sometime in the early part of 2018. So until that time, I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Thanks for watching. Leave a like, leave a sub, all that fun stuff. And I'll catch you tomorrow in another video. Till that time, ta-da. For now, here are our next assignments. They are unusual, but these are unusual times. Go, Commander. Do what you do best. <laughs>